This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Prime. In association with Micromax. Nothing like anything. Tonight, a Hyderabadi artist creates Edens. We see a little bit of Nasreen Momadi's retrospective in New York City. And a classical musician tells us why she loves the internet. This is On Art. Let's get started. A new museum is opening in New York City, and it's launching with a retrospective of none other than Indian artist Nasreen Malmadi. Here, we learn a little bit more about the modern master. In New York City, a new museum has opened called Met Breuer. So, you can change your life. A part of the legendary Metropolitan Museum of Art, Met Breuer is devoted to modern and contemporary art. And this ambitious museum, which launched on March 18th, opened its doors with a retrospective of Indian artist Nasreen Maumadi. She must have realized that her hand has started shaking. The exhibition is the third major Nasreen Maumadi retrospective globally. It all began in 2013 at Delhi's Kiranadar Museum of Art. I started collecting her work about six years ago and um, I was very taken up by uh, the kind of work that she did and I felt very drawn to her work. So we had built uh, a reasonable body of work and then in 2011-12, we decided that we were going to have a retrospective of Nasreen Mohammadi, that she was an artist who hadn't got her due during her lifetime. So we put together the show, which was part of our collection. In many of her paintings, lines begin somewhere unclear and then continue on until infinity. Her work is purely abstract and extraordinary, particularly given the time period in which she was working, the 1960s, 70s, and 80s. The 2013 show was curated by Rubina Karode, who was once a student of Nasreen Malmati's. So Nasreen was special to me, and for me, this has been always the case as a curator, working with both proximity and distance, you know. Karode and Nader joined up with the Metropolitan Museum of Art and the Reina Sofia Museum in Madrid to put on the New York show. At the Met, I think it's very interesting for me now when I sit and talk about it. Uh, what has happened is by showing Nasreen in three different locations, it has really uh, brought in new vantage points and new perspectives to Nasreen's work. And in fact, it has also made us understand that she had a very heterogeneous form of practice, which allows or has opened the possibility of new meanings that uh, can, be, uh, can be seen now in her work. In fact, I think uh, many unknown aspects of her works have been revealed through this exercise, you know, that has been happening since 2013. And so at the Met, it has taken a mature form of uh, the exhibition has become even more mature, I feel. Nasreen Mamadi passed away with little fame in 1990 at age 53 of Huntington's disease. As her illness advanced, her work became quieter until it nearly disappeared altogether. That is so enigmatic to me that she remained really, um, she lived in her own space, she created her own space, but I, I, I'm sure that she knew that her work would be recognized. I'm, I'm sure that she so confidently worked in that direction, you know, that she, uh, uh, she knew that day would come. You can see Nasreen Mamadi's art on display at the Met Breuer in New York City until June 5th. 
can't make it to the States? No problem. There's a whole lot of art happening right here in India. Here are your upcoming events. Delhi, go see the art exhibition Moving Landscapes at Triveni Kalasanga. The exhibition features work from Sunanda Kajuria, who draws from imagery from the terrains of her memory, as well as the real landscape. The opening reception of Else All Will Be Still by artist Ravi Agarwal will be on display at Gallery Espas beginning 7th April at 6.30 p.m. Mumbai, go to the House of Wow in Bandra to see Nirgun Sagun by Beach. It's an evening of bhakti poetry from Kabir and the Varkari Sampravaya interpreted in music and dance. Also in Mumbai is Madame Butterfly by Puccini, the famous opera. See it at the Dance Theatre Godrej. This weekend, get across to Gallery 1AQ near the Kutub Minar in Delhi for the Tales of Art show by Great Banyan Art. On till the 4th of April, it's a great chance to see work by emerging international artists from countries as varied as the Philippines and Turkey, amongst many more. Our next artist has his studio in an eye hospital. Curious? Let's learn more. Meet painter Surya Prakash. I'm Surya Prakash. I'm a painter and this is a great passion, also my profession. And I've been into this for the last about 55 years. I'm 76 years old fellow and it's a long innings, but there's no end to it. Still, still a long, many, many miles to go. Surya Prakash paints flowers, landscapes, rolling pastures. But his work isn't flat. It doesn't offer a simple beauty, as though it's just candy for our eyes. The colors he uses and the lines he draws tell a deeper story of something otherworldly, a futuristic Eden. I've been using soft, well-made canvas, soft canvas, and uh, soft brushes. And for a number of years, until recently, I've been only using oils as my medium. Only for, in the last about 10, 12 years, I've switched on to acrylic medium, which is water-based, and which dries very quick. And uh, there is a tremendous possibilities of more painting again and again, endlessly, and until you are happy with the result. I like to paint larger works, larger canvases. Even my subject matter is such this is. While many artists keep their workspaces in their homes or warehouses, Surya Prakash works out of a studio in an eye hospital. Much of his work is on display in the building. All that is providing a quite a different look and it gives a new feeling and very pleasant feeling it gives, very welcome. That is the reason I try to introduce art into these areas. And I also sincerely feel art should not be limited only to the museums. And people at large, you know, they are quite afraid or sometimes they are quite reserved. They don't like to enter into very, very sophisticated places like uh, corporate houses and uh, like uh, art galleries and art museums. They are a bit afraid. But here, like in factories, post offices and railway stations and various other places where big masses will move, keep on moving all the time. This is where art should be exposed. Don't go away. We'll be right back after a quick break with more on art. <laughs> 